One of my favorite luxury cars in recent memory is the Genesis G80. A Motor One Star Awards contender in its debut year, the current G80 is quick, comfortable, and stylish, especially in Sport 3.5T form. Well, those attributes might apply even more to this, the 2023 Genesis Electrified G80, which as its name suggests is an EV version of the midsize luxury car. Starting at $80,920, does the Electrified deserve its spot at the very tippy top of the G80 lineup? The answer to that question is yes, but there are a few caveats. Before I get into that though, please be sure to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and find us on all of your favorite social media using the handle at MotorOne.com. Now back to the Genesis. The first time you see an electrified G80, you'll be forgiven if you don't realize that you're looking at something a little bit special. And that's because Genesis only applied a few slight exterior modifications to this vehicle. That starts with the signature shield-shaped grille, but instead of an open mesh for the G-Matrix design here, it uses these little reflective diamond shapes. This car needs cleaner aerodynamics more than it needs powertrain cooling, so this whole panel is blocked off except for a few little spots down low. The grille also does a good job of hiding the radar sensor right up front and the charge port over on the side. If you didn't know it was there, you'd never find it because it is so well integrated into the design. And that's kind of the whole idea. This is supposed to be a very clean, very sleek shape for the Genesis G80. And I think they've done a great job with it. Some of the other design elements for the electrified G80 include a unique style for the 19 inch wheels. And then of course, around the back, you don't get the shield shaped tailpipes because this is an electric car and it doesn't need tailpipes. Overall, however, the changes to the outside are very slight and you really have to look twice if you want to notice them. The story is much the same inside as well, where the only clues that you're sitting in an electrified product appear on the infotainment center with some EV specific displays, as well as the truly beautiful white and green color combination with unique matte finished burl walnut. The technology suite's also gonna feel very familiar to anyone who's been inside any recent Genesis product, but there are a few unique additions since this is an electric vehicle. That includes this battery monitor screen that tells you exactly how long it's gonna take you to recharge using various power sources. There's also a lot of other information here to help you drive this thing most efficiently, like the power meter and eye pedal display in the instrument cluster. And it does have one cool party trick borrowed from the GV60, the V to L charger. Using the same power port up front, you can recharge a variety of things that use 120 volt power, ranging from a cell phone or a Bluetooth speaker all the way up to another electric vehicle. But of course, it does have that one problem that every Genesis product has. You need to have a wire if you want to use Apple CarPlay. This car does not offer wireless Apple CarPlay no matter how much you want it. If you feel like you're nipping at the heels of the G80 Electrified's 282 mile EPA range estimate, then putting more juice in the battery is a very simple affair thanks to an 800 volt electrical architecture. That means that it can use a DC fast charger to go from 10 to 80% in 22 minutes. Or you can use your home wall box to go from 10 to 100% in seven hours and 22 minutes. That means that you can get home with a fully empty battery, plug the thing in, schedule the car to start charging when your electric company's off-peak rates begin, and come out the next morning to a full battery. The Genesis Electrified G80 starts at just under $81,000, which means it lives in kind of a white space where there aren't too many mainstream luxury EV sedans out there. There is the Tesla Model S, which is about 20 grand more, and the Tesla Model 3, which is about 20 grand less, but this car offers a much better interior and slightly more conventional exterior styling if that's your priority. A more interesting comparison in my mind would be between the Genesis Electrified G80 and the GV60, which as you know, is an EV SUV. The GV60 can't quite hit the 282 miles of range that the G80 can, but it does have a very similar charging experience and more interior space. So it all comes down to priorities. If you need room for your friends, go for the GV60. If you want to go a few extra miles for every electron, the G80 might be your pick. The big changes for the G80 Electrified happen under the skin. Instead of an internal combustion engine, this car has an 87.2 kilowatt hour battery pack under the floor and in the trunk. And it sends electricity to two EV motors, one on the front axle and one on the rear. Total system output is about 365 horsepower with 516 pound-feet of torque. 
And if you're keeping score at home, that means it has 10 less horsepower, but a whole lot more units of twist than the 3.5T G80. And let me tell you, you're not gonna miss those 10 horsepower when you dip into the accelerator and unleash this relentless rush of torque from those electric motors. By my butt dyno at least, this thing's gotta be a couple of a tenths of a second quicker to 60 than the Genesis 3.5T. And it's also not bad in the mid-range too. Usually electric motors come on really strong down low, and then once you're going 60 or 65, they kind of peter off. But you've still got plenty of merging and passing power with this car. It also handles a lot better than you'd expect, given the fact that it weighs more than 5,000 pounds. That's for sure a lot of weight to be hustling through a corner, but this thing obliges, particularly because the battery pack is located down low in the chassis, so you have a nice low center of gravity. The G80 Electrified inherits a lot from the GV60, including its selectable brake regen. And if you'll remember from my review of that car, you know that I absolutely love it, especially when you're using the most aggressive iPedal mode. It's probably the most intuitive way to learn how to use one pedal driving, and that's because it doesn't meet you with all of the regen right at once. Instead, it kind of gradually leans you into it so that you can just gracefully come to a stop without touching the brake at all. Now there is a drawback to the way that this vehicle is laid out, and that's because of that floor mounted battery. Because the floor is a little bit higher, you don't have as much thigh support, and the seat's been moved up a little bit too, so you don't have as much headroom. And that also means that you can't get the G80 electrified with a sunroof, because if you did, you would have absolutely no space for anyone taller than six feet or so. That's kind of a bummer, and you do miss out a little bit on the features and amenities. That minor quibble aside, this is still a very special, very comfortable luxury car. Not in the least because Genesis has made sure that every single surface on this cabin is draped in some kind of nice material, whether that's this beautiful burl matte finished wood, or these nice soft touch surfaces on the door panels, or the Nappa leather on the seats. No matter what you look at or touch, everything is just first rate. I've honestly seen worse materials on a Mercedes S-Class than I have on this electrified G80. The electrified G80 also rides beautifully, thanks to the Genesis electronically controlled suspension with road preview. Now what all that means is that there's a sensor on the front of the car that actively detects imperfections in the pavement and then softens the suspension as you glide over them. It's not quite telepathic, but it's pretty darn close and it conspires to help this car feel very comfortable on a long trip. Just about every single safety feature available on a Genesis product is standard on the G80 Electrified. That means you get lane departure prevention with lane centering technology, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, adaptive cruise control, and more. And when you put it all together, it just gives you a very confident driving experience, keeps you well-centered in the lane and distance from other traffic, and provides you with just a little bit of extra peace of mind when you're on a long trip. With incredible power, good range and charging, and the same peerless freeway experience that we've come to expect of every Genesis product, the Electrified very clearly deserves its spot at the top of the G80 lineup. There are those drawbacks, like I mentioned earlier, but by and large, Genesis put in the time and the effort required to turn this into a world-class luxury EV. Thanks for watching.